Hello and welcome to Stotros Maths Key Skill video on finding unknown lengths given two similar triangles with one vertex in common. Now in the previous video we saw what similar triangles were and basically similar triangles or similar shapes in general have the same shape and have the same angles but not necessarily the same size. So in this case the triangles actually have the same shape. And the reason we can see that is if we look at these parallel lines, do you remember alternate angles or Z angles? So can you see that this here is a Z? And when we have Z angles like that, this angle will be the same as this angle. Now similarly, this angle will be the same as this angle. And because these are vertically opposite angle, this angle will be the same as this angle. So we can see the three angles in this triangle are the same as the three angles in this triangle. So they must be the same shape. Except for, can you see that this triangle is flipped upside down? So that angle at the top there becomes the angle at the bottom of this triangle. So we have to be careful when comparing lengths. Now remember, when we have two similar triangles or two similar shapes, we first identify the scale factor, SF the scale factor, between the two triangles. And what I mean by that is how many times bigger is that triangle than this triangle, or the other way around. And we can do that just by dividing two equivalent lengths. So can you see that this length on the left triangle is equivalent to this length on the right triangle? So if we just divide the two, 7.5 divided by 5, or you could divide the other way around, that gives you 1.5. So that tells you that this triangle is 1.5 times bigger in terms of the sides of the lengths than this triangle. Now can you see that because the triangle is flipped upside down, this length at the bottom of this triangle, because it's flipped upside down, becomes a length at the top of this triangle. So that means these are two corresponding lengths. And that means this length when it gets 1.5 times bigger, because that's the scale factor of length, will become that 6. So to get x, all we need to do is just do the 6 divided by that scale factor, and that gives us a length of 4. So whether we divide or times by that scale factor is just common sense. We can see that x is smaller than 6, so we're going to divide the 6 by 1.5. But if this length was bigger than this, then we times the 6 by the scale factor of 1.5 to get that length. So just use your common sense, whether you divide or times by that scale factor.